will climb every mountain, I will rise with the sun. No rivers too deep, the journey has just begun. And just begun. And I got the heart, I got the heart of a hundred. We're going to look at one of the first animals we're going to look at today is a zebra. Now, on every single zebra, it has got a target. It's got a point that it shows you where to, to, to shoot it. The lines, the black and white lines, from the leg, from the neck area, and from the stomach area. It forms a triangle. Every single zebra, you can shoot him in that triangle. It's right on the leg, it's right on the, the uh, very important part where you have to uh, take a zebra. So that's, uh, that's the zebra. This one is angling away, so very important. The pH will tell you where to put the shot placement. Uh, if it's angling away, you'll have to obviously shoot a little bit from behind. If it's angling towards you, you have to shoot a little bit forward. But that broad, broad side shot that's where you're going to uh, take that. On most animals, it's more or less in the middle of the neck, then it turns and it goes up high. So a lot of times we find that clients shoot very, very high. And when they shoot high, there's nothing there. It's an empty spot. It's all those, those uh, bones that's up top there, and, but there's nothing else. It might drop the animal because there's, a, um, there's an impact, drop him, he'll get up and he'll run again. After the shot placement lesson from Philip, it was off to the shooting range where we met Franco Yusta from Peregrine Bullets, our ammunition partner this season. Good morning ladies, my name is Franco Yusta. I'm from Peregrine Bullets. Um, we are a South African made product that's a premium hunting bullet. The bullet has no lead in, in it, so it's called a monolithic bullet. And um, I'm very excited about uh, you guys hunting about uh, with this bullet because it's one of our newest bullets on the market. It's called a VLR. Now, it's a Spitzer bullet, so um, and then it has a, a brass insert that helps the expansion of the bullet. Now, like I said before, it's a pure copper bullet. And this means that the bullet ha is going to have a lot of weight retention, so we can shoot bigger animals with a smaller caliber. Okay, ladies, so let's quickly talk about the calibers that we are going to use. The first one is a 375, 230 grain bullet, VLR, of Peregrine Bullets. So what you see here is firstly the, the brass insert that will uh, help with the expansion of the bullet. This moves into the bullet to force the bullet open and give us a perfect mushroom. So this will probably be used on our uh, zebra hunt or uh, some of our bigger animals. Let's quickly go to the 3-06. So the 3-06 is uh, loaded with a, with a 167 grain VLR Plains Master bullet. Now once again it has the brass insert and um, this bullet is going to also help us with uh, more of the bigger animals. Then to our 308, one of our popular calibers. Now this little guy in here is also 167 grain and uh, your penetration on it, it gives you gives you the advantage to take all of the animals on the farm and it will probably be one of our most diverse uh, calibers here. Then our 270 caliber Winchester, it, it's also a VLR Plains Master bullet, it's loaded with 125 grain so it will have more than an uh, efficient penetration and performance to take down a few animals. So let's quickly let, uh, get started with sighting in the rifles. <coughs> To ease their travels, the visiting huntresses were provided with rifles at camp. So while they were sighting in the weapons, they also had the opportunity to get a feel for the rifles that they were going to use.
Okay, rifle is live. What am I again? You can shoot for the bottom right. Jij rekt door. Kijk maar. Right. Okay, girls. Uh, heading out now. Let's get you guys all settled. Who's gonna go with, uh, with you two ladies, Margaret? You guys are gonna go with Beatrice. Um, and then you two ladies are gonna go with Peter here, Zebra and uh, um, Zebra and Willebeus, Gemspok and Blesbok on your, your team there. Alright, all the best, shoot straight, have fun, enjoy it and uh, remember what I said last night. I buy the first meal, from there on it's either roadkill or what you bring in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> roadkill right. is? Before leaving camp, Peter just made sure that the ladies were comfortable with the height of the shooting sticks. And then for you, I'll just do it a little bit more like that. Just to make 100% sure that I've got the right height here. That looks fine. Excellent. First to leave, were Margaret and Chantal, with Petrus as their professional hunter. Not in the no, you need to be some. Or not in the. With Donna and Christy not far behind, the air was filled with excitement. Pumped. Pumped. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, first time to hunt a little beast, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, what we're going to try and do is there's a very big possibility that uh, and the zebras might be in the open about 500 yards from here. So we're going to try and stalk them and then um, identify one that's um, shootable if we can if we can uh, um, spot them and then we're gonna we'll go from there on this way i just want you to uh, um, put in three shells if you can i'm just in the magazine and then we're just gonna um, close the um, the bolt without one in I'm going to walk in the front and then I want you to stay directly behind me, please. And then, it depends on how it is, but I think we'll be able to communicate very softly when we get to the animal. But we first need to identify it.
is called, it's a rhino midden. Yeah, that's where the bull will come and he marks his territory. Every time he's in the area, then he takes his dump over here. So all of his scent is around here, so all of the others can um, can smell and they know there's a bull, this is his territory. saw them about two or three times. Um, the distances was just not close enough to take um, a shot at them. But that's hunting. With the zebra spooked, Peter decided to give Donna a chance to try and hunt a blue wildebeest, as they are often found in the same vicinity. It wasn't long before they were on the spoor of the wildebeest. The only problem was, the animals had moved into an opening, which made stalking difficult. Peter spotted a beautiful bull among the small group. At least the animals were calm. With all this open bush, Donna was going to need a lot of luck. By now the wildebeests were onto them and kept a comfortable distance between themselves and the hunters. It was time to change tactics.
Deciding to walk close to each other, out in the open, they hoped that the wildebeest's natural curiosity would work in the hunter's favor. It did, for a moment, and then they took off. With Peter trying to get the wildebeest to stop by impersonating their call, the bull suddenly came to a halt. There is an unwritten rule that is called the three-second rule, meaning that when the animal gives you a shot, it will be for no longer than three seconds. You snooze, and you lose. We tried, but it didn't work. It did work a bit. Okay, we um, come in for a stalk and they were just always just out of reach and we just kept following them. Um, they were 160 metres and then there wasn't a clear shot, so we just decided that we'd try something a little bit different and just walk straight towards them, out and open. Um, I worked for a little while and they circled around us and then a um, herd of blessed buck joined up with them and now they're gone, so. Better luck next time. Yeah. Back at base camp, there was time for a quick brunch and a short break before the team set out to continue the day's hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting in the same groups, Donna and Christy were led by Peter, their professional hunter, on the lookout for zebra. Unfortunately, after putting in a solid search, their efforts proved that hunting is not as easy as some people may suggest. The animals are very free to move around on these large hunting farms, and if they don't want to be found, you won't find them. At about six in the afternoon, Peter called it, and we headed back for some well-earned cold drinks and much needed rest for the next day. New day, new hunt, early morning. With Peter on the spoor and Christy with the rifle, it was back to where we encountered the zebra the previous day. Around midday, they spotted some animals. It was a small group of zebra mixed with blessbuck. The difficulty with zebra is that it is not easy to see the difference between the stallions and the mares. So before targeting an animal, the professional hunter must make sure of the gender and then identify the correct animal. On the zebra, on the shoulder, you'll see there's a triangle that the stripes make on the top of that thing. That's where you're shooting. Christy was looking for an old stallion and she did not want to make a mistake, especially on her first zebra. With the right animal spotted, the stalk was on. Well done. Thank you. you did excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go get him.
Louis, <laughs> as we'd say in Oz. No, very, that was um, unbelievable. It was, uh, my hunts don't normally go that well. There's always a complication or heartache or a lot and a lot, a lot of hard work and walking, but it just, everything went super perfect. So I'm really happy, very happy. What's on your next to me? Blah, 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 blah. look at me and thumbs up. Okay, so it was a bit of, bit of a marathon. We started hunting for my zebra early this morning. Uh, we entered the hunting grounds and we spotted a herd uh, sort of early on. Um, they were on full alert, so they, they took off and we followed them through some very thick scrub or bush. Uh, lost sight of them straight away, but uh, the team were able to follow their their hoof tracks for, for quite a while. Um, thought we'd lost them and then actually spotted them again. So put in another a stalk again and once again like they just vanished for you know animals in black and white chemo on, on a green background they blend in just something amazing so yeah we, we lost them in the thick stuff and then decided to carry on a bit longer um, lots of driving uh, and, and didn't see any more for a little while and then finally uh, just around lunchtime today come across this herd so we um, had to cut an arc around to get ourselves into a good position they were out in the open this uh, stallion was actually aware of us so we had to move quietly keep in good cover and then finally found a, a good shooting window uh, to make him. He was standing away from the herd, which was, was really good. So I was able to put in a nice, confident, fast shot, uh, which which dropped him within um, probably about 50 metres. So I'm really happy with the shot placement and, and how the hunt went. Or I can give us a smile a bit. Just keep it like That's this. That's it, yeah. yeah. So don't forget to join us next week as we go hunting with Chantelle on her first ever African safari.